Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me today with another lesson on foundations necessary to express robot motion. I'm Dr. Maddie Babay Assel, and I'm more than honored to be here today with you with another lesson. This lesson is part of the series of lessons on fundamentals of robotics. Be sure to also look at previous lessons because some of the lessons are prerequisites for this one. As always, this lesson also has a reading version on the website. Be sure to also check the written version on the website to fully understand this lesson. In today's lesson, we'll continue with orientations and robotics and we'll see another representation to express orientations in robotics that we call Kelly Rodriguez parameters. Kelly Rodriguez parameters provide a local parameterization of big SO3. They are uh, called local parameters because not all orientations can be represented by them and uh, they are not singularity free actually, but they have properties that make them intriguing to learn and study. So without further ado, let's get it started. Cayley Rodriguez parameters can be obtained from the exponential representation on big SO3. As we saw in the lesson on the exponential coordinate representation, every rotation matrix R in big SO3 has an exponential coordinate representation omega hat theta such that R is equal to e to the power of bracket omega hat theta in which bracket shows the schizometric matrix representation of omega hat, and omega hat is a unit vector, and theta is between 0 and pi. Therefore, SO3, or the space of orientations, can be visualized as a sphere of radius pi, as you can see in the figure. Then, the exponential coordinates omega hat theta can lie anywhere in the sphere. The Cayley Rodriguez parameters, small r in R3, can then be defined as r equal to omega hat tangent of half theta. If we visualize the space of orientations, or big SO3, as a sphere with a radius of pi, the Cayley Rodriguez parameterization of big SO3 has the effect of infinitely stretching the radius of the sphere via the tangent half angle function. To understand this, recall that the function tangent theta approaches um, infinity when theta is equal to pi half or minus pi half. Therefore, tangent uh, theta half approaches infinity when theta is equal to pi or minus pi. Therefore, the Cayley Rodriguez parameterization of big SO3 has the effect of infinitely stretching the radius of the sphere via the tangent half angle function. Theta is equal to pi is the singularity of the Cayley Rodriguez parameterization of orientation because tangent theta half approaches infinity at that angle. And this is when trace of r is equal to minus 1. Recall that trace of a matrix is defined as the sum of the diagonal terms of the matrix. For more information, please refer to the lesson on the exponential coordinate representation of orientation. Now let's see how these parameters are derived when an orientation is represented by the rotation matrix R in big SO3. These parameters are derived using a general formula attributed to Cayley. Suppose that an orientation is represented by a rotation matrix R in big SO3. If trace of R is not equal to minus 1, which is the singularity free case, then the Cayley Rodriguez parameters can be derived using this equation. In this equation, bracket R is the schizometric matrix representation of the uh, Cayley Rodriguez parameters, uh, small r. 
Uh, for more information about the definition of the schoosymmetric matrix representation, please refer to the lesson on the exponential coordinates representation of the orientation. We can also go backwards and find the rotation matrix R in terms of the Cayley Rodriguez parameters. And these equations hold between R and the Cayley Rodriguez parameters. These equations provide a one to one correspondence between the schoosymmetric matrices of Lie algebra, little so3, and those elements of the special orthogonal matrices of the Lie group, or big so3, that have traces not equal to minus one. To learn more about the Lie group and Lie algebra, please refer to the lesson on exponential coordinates. These equations can also be explicitly computed as these equations. As roboticists, we are not interested in how these equations are derived and what the complex mass behind them is, uh, but rather we are interested in their application. So don't worry about how they are derived and what is the mass be behind them. We'll um, see how we can use them. From these equations, we can see that the Cayley Rodriguez parameters 0 corresponds to the identity matrix R equal to I, and minus R is the inverse of the rotation corresponding to R. Now let's see an example. Consider the tool of the six-axis robot is rotated from the home orientation to the orientation that is shown in the figure. Also, suppose that the orientation of the tool frame with respect to the base frame is represented by a unit quaternion Q. We want to find the Cayley Rodriguez parameters representing the same orientation. From the lesson on unit coternions, uh, we can find the axis and angle representation of the orientation given by the unit coternion Q as a rotation about the unit axis omega hat by 79 degrees. Therefore, the Cayley Rodriguez parameters can easily be calculated using the equations that we learned in, in this lesson as r equal to omega hat tangent of theta half. We can also calculate the rotation matrix representation of this orientation from the Cayley Rodriguez parameters that we found. Since the angle of rotation is not 180 degrees, then we are dealing with the singularity free case. Using the definition of the schoosymmetric matrix representation that we learned in the exponential coordinates lesson, we can find bracket R as the schoosymmetric matrix. And then we can calculate the rotation matrix representing this orientation using the formulas uh, that we learned in this lesson. All three of the Q, small r, and the rotation matrix big R represent the same orientation. The interactive feature for Cayley Rodriguez parameters is a simple form of the composition of two rotation matrices. Suppose that small r1 is the Cayley Rodriguez parameters for the rotation matrix big R1, and little r2 is the Cayley Rodriguez parameters for the rotation matrix big R2. Then the Cayley Rodriguez parameters little r3 for the composition of the rotation matrices big R3 equal to big R1 times big R2 can be computed using this formula. Let's see this with an example. Suppose that the final orientation of the body frame with respect to the base frame is obtained after a rotation about the body frame's z-axis by 90 degrees, the body frame z-axis is initially coincident with the space frame z-axis, followed by a rotation about the body frame's y-axis by 45 degrees. The final orientation of the body frame with respect to the base frame is like uh, the one that you see in the simulation. Therefore, the first rotation can be expressed by the Cayley Rodriguez parameters as little r1, and the second rotation can be expressed by the Cayley Rodriguez parameters as little r2, 
and therefore the Katie Rodriguez parameters expressing the composition of rotations uh, can be calculated as the little r3. The resulting rotation matrix can either be calculated using the rotation operators that we learned in the previous lesson, or using the formula for the rotation matrix from the Cayley Rodriguez parameters that we learned in this lesson. The composition of these two rotations is equivalent to a rotation by 98 degrees about the unit axis omega hat, or alternatively, a rotation that can be described by the unit quaternion Q described here. Try to calculate these expressions as a practice for convergence between the representations. Another interactive feature for Cayley Rodriguez parameters is that the angular velocities and accelerations have a simple form in terms of them. If little rt is the Cayley Rodriguez representation of the orientation trajectory big RT, then the angular velocity expressed in a space frame and body frame can be expressed as these equations. By time differentiating these expressions, we can get the angular accelerations with respect to the space and body frame. In the coming lessons, we will study more about the angular velocity and accelerations in the space and body frames. For now, we just want to learn that the angular velocities and accelerations in the space and body frame have rather simpler forms in terms of Cayley Rodriguez parameters. That's going to wrap up today's lesson. I hope that it gave you a good understanding uh, about Cayley Rodriguez parameters and how we can use them to express orientations in robotics and what are their properties that make them uh, intriguing to study and learn. This is the last lesson about orientation. And from the next lesson, we'll uh, start learning about uh, homogeneous transformation matrices to express uh, configurations in robotics. Before you go, please consider supporting us and being a part of the Mecrodome fam. We also love to hear your feedbacks or questions if you have any. See you in the next lesson. Bye!